Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right into the topic of today's video. So, I went to Lindsay Lohan's nightclub and I wanted to go ahead and give it a review and talk about some of the things that I really enjoyed and some of the things that I thought were absolutely crazy. So Lindsay Lohan currently has two nightclubs in Greece. She has Lohan Nightclub Athens and uh, Mykonos Beach House on Mykonos Island. So, rumors have it, though, the Mykonos uh, nightclub actually shut down. I'm not sure how valid that is, but with that being said, Mykonos is an island that is only active during the summer. So, I can see how rumors are saying it's shut down, but really it's just idle because everything in Mykonos shuts down once summer ends. So, kind of complicated, but regardless, what we are talking about today is Lohan nightclub in Athens. So when I did a little European tour, I went ahead and went to Lohan nightclub because how can you be in Greece and not stop at Lohan's nightclub? I mean, come on now, really? So we went ahead and hopped in a taxi and went to Lohan's nightclub one Friday afternoon. The thing about Lohan's nightclub, though, is it is VIP only. So I really enjoyed how that made it extra bougie, the fact that it's a nightclub that is VIP only. So being able to get in, for one, is a little bit difficult, but once you are allowed to go in, it is super bougie and just, I have the time of my life. Long story short, let me skip it, skip all the bullshit. I had the best time of my life after at this nightclub. I've been to quite a few clubs, so I'm able to kind of compare and contrast what makes this one special. So let's start with the entrance fee. So when you get to Lohan's nightclub, it is a giant warehouse in Athens in a kind of a rundown neighborhood that's mostly full of car dealerships. So it's a street full of car dealerships and then out of nowhere is this ginormous nightclub that says Lohan nightclub in big fancy letters and lights. So everyone is outside of the nightclub because it is VIP. So a lot of people go to the nightclub thinking they can just go right in, but that's not the case. So once you show that you are a part of the VIP, one of the bouncers opens up the gate, you walk in, and you have to pay 30 euros in order to get in, which might I add is quite expensive for a nightclub, but... Once you find out why they charge 30, it kind of makes it all better. So at Lohan Nightclub, you get free drinks all night. So if you like to drink alcohol, you will have free drinks all night. So basically, there is really pretty girls that carry around trays and pass out drinks to everyone dancing and everyone partying. And so... There we go. That's an example of what your $30 goes towards. But also, everywhere you look is different kinds of juices and different kinds of Coca-Cola ready for you to grab, and they are ice cold. So while you're dancing, there's kind of a ledge all around the dance floor, and it is jam packed with thousands of Coca-Colas. And it's funny because... All throughout the night, there's people coming and restocking the Coca-Colas, which was really unique. So one thing I noticed in particular is that Lohan Nightclub is so staffed. I mean, she probably has at least 100 to 200 employees in this warehouse with like a 1,000 people. And it's really bougie. So there's a lot of VIP areas that you have to pay, like, uh, you know, you, you pay extra to sit, bottle service, all that jazz. And everyone that's there is super, like, anorexic and smoking cigarettes. And I just remember this kind of couture, vogue vibes when I would look over into these gated areas. It was just so bougie. 
So one thing in particular, the music is absolutely amazing. You can tell Lindsay Lohan put a lot of effort into making sure the music is absolutely perfect. It's all like top 100, the best remixes, and you know, duh, that she's going to hire the best DJ. With that being said, the DJ is really high up in the balcony, and there are so many people dressed as robots and dinosaurs that that are dancing all around you. So this was really fun and it made it like super innovative and interesting and kind of had like a rave vibe because there was so many different flashing lights and there was so many smoke bombs going off that the whole place is covered in smoke and it was just amazing. So I hope that kind of painted a picture about Lohan's nightclub. People there go for a purpose and everyone there stays until about 5 a.m. just dancing their hearts out. And, you know, just to be honest, you could tell there was a lot of drug use there. Everyone, you know, but that's kind of common at clubs, kind of common at raves. There is a lot of people that use drugs. And, you know, I am not a part of that crowd, but I don't necessarily mind being around those people and partying with them. But I just noticed that like there was a strong culture wrapped around that at Lohan nightclub. And also you can tell that a lot of people go there all the time that live in Athens. It was a majority of a lot of young people and it was just a really nice overall experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little review on Lohan Nightclub in Athens, Greece. If you have any questions about the nightclub that I might have not answered, comment down below or message me on Instagram. I love talking to everyone and I respond to everyone. All that jazz. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way, every time I post a new video, you will be notified right away. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on my next daily video. Bye. Bye.